Hello everyone. Let's prove that V is equal to F into lambda, where V stands for the wave velocity, F stands for the wave frequency, and lambda is wavelength, the wave. We need to prove that V is equal to F into lambda. We can prove it in many ways. The simplest way to prove is to define what is speed or velocity. Velocity or speed velocity is equal to distance by time. Now let's assume that there is a point called as point P and then a wave is moving from some point to towards point P. Let's assume that in some time one wave crosses point P that is a wave is starting from here and after some time this wave crosses the point P. This is the point P. In a given time, this wave crosses the point P. So, we learnt in the previous lecture that the time taken for one wave to cross a given point is called as time period. So, from here, if we call the velocity as V, it's equal to the distance what the wave covers would be lambda, that's the wavelength. So, it will be lambda and if the distance covered is lambda, then time taken is called as time period. But we also learnt that f is equal to 1 by t. So putting it here, what we get is v is equal to lambda into f. This is a very very important expression. This is for a medium in case of free space. In case of free space or vacuum, we can write C is equal to F into lambda, where C is speed of light in vacuum, and that value is a constant which is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. These values and idea of waves becomes very very important in second year. Make effort to remember these forms. And also keep in mind that frequency depends on the source emitted. That is, if you have a bulb at some point, and if the bulb gives out radiation or energy, then the frequency remains fixed. So keep in mind that frequency of any object or any source depends on the source emitting it. The wavelength will change, the speed may change, but not the frequency. So remember this very, very important point.